Okay, um, I have a Ream 50 gallon water heater and it had the flammable vapor sensor error uh, going off like you may have seen on many other uh, YouTube videos. Um, I tried a couple of the options on the different videos trying to get a temporary solution to get my water heater working until I can get a new flammable vapor sensor uh, in the mail. I just ordered it off of Amazon, but it should be here in a couple of days. So anyway, I tried a couple of things. Um, I removed the vapor sensor goes right here in this hole typically. I uh, pulled that out. It's It sits inside of this little um, plastic, uh, goes this way, snaps in there, and that holds the sensor. Uh, the leads connect on the back of this right there, as you can see. I tried the cleaning this and then using a pencil to connect those um, connections there uh, to get the proper resistance. I couldn't get that to work. I uh, used a voltmeter here. Uh, it showed in one video connecting uh, these into the leads. Uh, I couldn't get that to work. And there was another option, or at least a comment in one of the options that said to just uh, install a resistor between the leads that normally connect to the, uh, the vapor sensor right there. And lucky enough, I had a neighbor that had two 10K ohm resistors. So I just ran those in series as you can see right there they're connected and so i'm getting 20 ohms resistance out of those i tested that with the voltmeter and that's what it read i stuck those into the uh, leads right there that normally connect to the to the uh, flammable vapor sensor and then i went up here and i did the turn this switch off I turned it to low, I turned it back on, and then I turned the knob, the temperature knob, from low to very hot seven times. Low to hot, back to low, back to hot, and then back to low, and it reset it, like it says in other videos. And that's when you start getting this heartbeat flashing LED status light, the blue status light. And then as soon as that happened, it uh, I could hear the igniter clicking and it uh, turned on the, the water heater. So it's currently heating the tank back up. It was a very simple fix, temporary fix with just these two resistors giving it the proper, uh, basically just tricking the unit into thinking that the, uh, the sensor is still there. You wouldn't want to do that uh, for any type of a long-term scenario, but just to get um, some hot water until the, uh, until the part comes in the mail, um, that'd be great. It's working out for us. We actually just did some painting in the basement and um, that's what triggered the lockup sensor. So um, I'll know next time that if we're doing any painting that I'm going to either disconnect that sensor, uh, I'll probably turn the water heater off while all that's happening until everything can get ventilated out. Um, so that we don't run up with, end up having no hot water. Cold showers aren't exactly the most fun thing in November in Utah. So anyway, I hope this helps. That was a simple fix with just two 10K resistors. Thanks, bye.